welcome to another video guys um, another day game review city series that I started off in Belgrade you can check that video out um, that was the first city that I went internationally and uh, day gamed code approach the next city after that was uh, Rio de Janeiro Brazil first time I went to South America uh, and it was a great city to visit I went during their summer. I didn't go during Carnival. I did go to Carnival this past year, but the first time I went to Rio was uh, end of 2018. And as mentioned, that was my first uh, Latino city, South America, and totally different culture, especially it's a Portuguese type of culture. Uh, I went to Mexico before, but this is the first time that I was in that type of environment, which is a little bit different than a Hispanic environment. But again, it was my first time in South America, and just off the bat, South America culture, way more social, way more open than typically uh, Western European countries, uh, America. So it's not so strange for strangers to talk to each other. Uh, you can perfectly open up a conversation. Uh, people are much more happy to talk with you. Um, it's a much more party atmosphere. Every night, <laughs> there's always something going on, especially in a city like Rio by the beach. Uh, you have a lot of tourists that are uh, visiting there, both from within the country and internationally. And it just has that party type environment, usually because of the sun, the weather. It's nicer. People are a lot more happier. And overall, it's a good vibe. So in terms of Rio, uh, a few areas that you can stay in. One of them is Copacabana. That's where I first stayed in. It's a little bit not as safe as Leblon, which is the second area that I would recommend. A little bit more expensive, but in terms of like safety, it has a little bit more money there. Uh, English levels are better there. But you have Copacabana and Panema. Uh, you have Leblon, and then about 30 minutes out, you have a place called Barra, which is another place that I just discovered last time I went there. So I think if I were to go back to Rio in the near future, I might stay there outside of Rio Carnival. But I would say if you're going for the first time, stick to Leblon and Panema and Copacabana. Uh, English levels are mixed, so this depends on the person's background. Usually, if they're younger, uh, more educated, the English levels are pretty good. At the same time, though, um, there are a lot of people that don't speak English. Uh, again, though, if the person is attracted to you, uh, you can use Google Translate. So last time I was in Rio was for Carnival this past year. Uh, I met somebody the second day. She didn't speak any English, but she was pretty, you know, quite attracted to me. She came out the next day. Again, we had a Google Translate date, took her back home, um, and it was a good time. Ideally, though, uh, you you know you want the person maybe speak a little bit English, but I'm just saying that's not the end all be all, especially if you're just going there and have a little bit of fun to kind of test out the place. So when it comes to English, it's about 50-50 whether or not uh, the person, the girl speaks it. Weather-wise, Rio is great. It does have its rainfall in terms of like some days it's like a tsunami. It just rains. But for the most part, if you go throughout the year, the weather is pretty good. And it's their summer when it's winter up north. So if you really like hot weather and you want to go when it's like the nicest, um, go during their summer, which is typically between January to March. And that also falls into Rio Carnival. That's one of the biggest holidays in the world. And usually um, it occurs around end of February to March, early March. And that's where it's just people from all over Brazil, South America, even the world all convey into Rio. Brazil does have a lot of carnivals, each in their cities, but I think the largest one is Rio. That's where you're going to see uh, Brazilians from all over the country, both north, south, east, west, all emerge, convey into there. And you get to see like the different types of backgrounds uh, because Brazil is a huge country. I mean, again, it's I think population wise, it's the fifth largest in the world. So you can't really distinguish um, one set of Brazilians because they act and look differently depending on where they come from. So if you want to see like all of them at once at the same time, Rio Carnival is the best time to go. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive in terms of accommodation, especially if you stay in the nicer areas. But it is like a, a bucket list type of item in which I think one guy at least one, one time in their life should experience Rio Carnival. But if you go outside Rio Carnival, you can still have a good time. Uh, it's not um, super expensive, but it's not the cheapest. I think it's gotten a lot more expensive. Uh, they do use the Brazilian Real, 
but it just depends on where you stay. If you stay in the nicer areas and you go to the nicer restaurants, obviously it's going to be more expensive. So you definitely should budget accordingly. Um, let's talk about the girls, though. Um, again, South America, they're quite receptive. Uh, they do like dating foreign guys. Um, it is probably a little, it was a little bit harder than when I first went. I think that's like a globally. I think uh, dating's become a lot harder than what it was four or five, six years ago. But again, it still can be done as long as you work yourself, um, you work on yourself and you just put in the numbers. You don't get too bogged down about rejection. Um, there are a lot of opportunities um, in Rio and Brazil as a whole. And there's a lot of great shopping centers. Um, you go to the beach. Uh, those are recommendations. And then you just go to the city center um, in Rio during busy times. You are going to find quite a number of opportunities. So you just really have to put in the reps. Um, dating a Latina is quite fun, especially when they're attracted to you. Uh, they can be quite feminine. And they just want to have a good time. And especially if you like to go out, not necessarily, you don't have to like get wasted, but you just like to go out, have a good time, listen to some good music, have some good drinks. Dating in South America culture is a lot of fun. It's a lot more lively than, let's say, uh, you know, in Europe or Western world in general. So I think every guy needs to go there uh, and just kind of experience dating a Latina. They're much more open. They're much, you know, they can be friendly. And again, for the most part, as long as you're being calibrated, they are quite receptive. The downside, though, is they can be quite flaky. Uh, that's just the vibe in South America. You know, you have so much going on. It's not necessarily anything that you did, but maybe they're just in the moment. Uh, maybe they met somebody else. <laughs> they made plans. So expect quite a bit of flakiness. So in order to combat that, you just have to put in the reps. And then you'll see that you put in enough reps uh, you stay in a good area and, you know, you have your stuff together. Uh, you are going to go on some dates, hopefully, and you are going to meet some women who just want to have a good time with you. And again, every guy should go to Rio and definitely Rio Carnival if you want to like amplify it by like three, four or five X. Um, overall, Rio is a great city. Um, if you stick to those locations, you put in the reps. If you're able to speak a little Portuguese, I mean, again, that's, that would be value added. Um, it's probably not the easiest language, but, you know, if you speak English, you are going to meet girls if you stay in the good areas who do who do know English. And again, that's just kind of a gateway to South America because there's so many great places to do this. Um, there's a lot of places that I'm still looking forward to going, but Rio was kind of like the gateway. And I think that's a great city if you go there first in terms of like practicing your dating skills in South America and just travel alone. It's some of the most beautiful beaches scenery that you'll see especially if you visit christ the redeemer you get a whole overview of the city and it should be on a bucket list for any traveler not just for dating but just any traveler alone uh if they want to you know explore the world and really have cool sites and cool pictures to share later on with your friends and family uh so with that guys that was kind of like my high level review of rio de janeiro brazil um, I'll leave some details in the description, but obviously if there's any further questions or if you have any further um, questions, if you're actually planning on going there, feel free to reach out to me. And then uh, if you've been there, leave a comment down below if in terms of like how your experience with um, went. So with that, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.